Good afternoon. My name is Kelly Lam, the Vice President of Marketing here at Milo. Welcome, bienvenue, willkommen. As many of you remain safely at home with your families, we want to make sure that we continue to provide you the services that you've been asking for of Milo. Whether it's about products that you have in your home, whether it's about you're thinking about buying a product and have some questions for us, or you want to know more about the services that we're currently offering in the environment we are all in today. We want to answer these questions through our new service, Admila Live. We're actually broadcasting for you live from our Mila Experience Center here in Toronto. So welcome across the country. We, we cover vast majority of topics from how to best load the dishes in your dishwasher to get the best cleaning performance. What's heat pump drying? We talk about our wide variety of, of cooking products, including the Mila steam oven. Pour ceux d'entre vous qui ont demandé pour des sessions en français, on travaille actuellement d'avoir des sessions dans les semaines qui viennent. Meal Alive is completely interactive, so we encourage you to send through your questions or comments two ways. Either if you're watching us through your YouTube channel, uh, in the comment section, please leave us your questions. Or if you're watching on mealalive.ca, you can leave comments in the little box on the bottom corner. I'm really excited today uh, to share with you uh, our first unboxing video uh, of a really fantastic product to help you keep your house clean. And to introduce this product, I've got our product expert Dean here with me. Good afternoon, Dean. Hi, Kelly. Um, so Dean, I'm going to hand it off to you uh, to unbox Great. our first unboxing video. Awesome. Well, thanks everyone for joining us uh, this afternoon. Um, today we're going to be talking about our uh, RX2 Scout vacuum from Mila. It's a robotic vacuum. And I think, you know, on a Friday when we're all looking forward to our weekends, uh, probably down that list of things we'd like to spend our weekend doing would be vacuum cleaning for most of us. Um, so what a perfect uh, opportunity for us to show you a vacuum that's going to basically do the work for you. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to show you what we've got in terms of our assortment of Mila Scout RX2 robotic vacuums. So we offer two different models. Uh, on uh, my right here, I've got the Scout RX2. And we also offer a uh, premium model, which we call the Scout RX2 Home Vision. The regular price of the Scout RX2 is $9.99. And the price of the Scout RX2 Home Vision is $11.99. Both models are currently available on Mulo.ca. Uh, so uh, I really encourage you to check them out on our website. Um, if you have any questions, uh, uh, we also are offering uh, telephone uh, consultations um, so that you're able to shop and understand our products um, from the comfort of your home. And as I go through my session today, uh, I really encourage you to ask questions online as well. We're going to try to answer as many as we can. So you might be wondering, what do you get in terms of features if you step up to our top of the line Scout RX2 Home Vision? And Kelly, what you're going to get if you do that is you're going to get an extra 60 minutes of non-stop runtime. So you're going to be able to run our base model for 60 minutes non-stop uh, in your home. And if you upgrade to the Home Vision model, you're going to be able to run it for 120 minutes, so two hours of non-stop vacuuming uh, while you relax, or perhaps you're not even at home. Well, that's what I was going to say. That saves me uh, 120 minutes, two hours of, of my time. Yeah, it's, it's just a really great benefit. Um, so the other really cool feature that you're going to get is with the Home Vision model, you're going to have the ability uh, to remotely operate this machine from your smartphone app. And uh, the Mila uh, RX2 Scout uh, app is available for iOS as well as Android. Mm -hmm. And uh, not only can you operate it remotely, and you can imagine all of the, the convenience benefits of that. So if you're uh, perhaps not at home and, uh, and you have unexpected company coming that evening, you're going to be able to have your home vacuumed for you before you even get home. Or if I simply forgot to vacuum after breakfast. And That's right. Yeah, so lots of, uh, lots of ways you, that you'll be able to use the, the remote uh, functionality through the app. 
The other uh, really cool feature with the home vision model, and you're going to be able to use this on your app, is you're actually going to be able to see through the eyes of the, ca of the vacuum. So there are uh, cameras on this vacuum, and it's going to show you uh, basically your home. So um, this can actually be used uh, as a security uh, mm -hmm. uh, benefit as well. So, and of course, it's always, uh, you can deactivate it as well. So it's just a totally optional uh, value added feature that we offer on our home vision model. That's great. So I thought uh, what we could do, Kelly, is I can show you when you open the box, what does it look like? And as we pull out all the pieces. I think that'd be a great start. I think a lot of people have that question is, you know, they're concerned, how easy is it to set up? What do I get? So I think it'd be great if we can open it up and actually show, uh, show our customers from the start. Sounds good. As you're getting the box, one reminder uh, for our viewers, be sure to register as actually you're watching uh, with us because uh, at the end, we may be sharing a promotional code with you for those viewers that have actually registered with us online. So uh, be sure to do that if you haven't already done that. Okay, so it, it opens uh, a little bit like a pizza box. And what you're going to find inside, um, so you're going to find here your, your owner's manual. Uh, Mila has actually made it really nice and easy. I know a lot of people don't like reading the owner's manual. Um, so what we've actually done is we've also offered a really condensed quick start guide. So we, you know, we definitely encourage you to read the full manual, but you've also got six simple steps to get going right away, right out of the box. Because I think we realistically know that a lot of you will not read manuals and a lot of people don't, so. Another thing that you're gonna find, and this is really nice to have, um, is a list of all of the different function error codes that the vacuum will show. And so this is actually an adhesive um, in two languages. You're able to basically ad uh, adhere it to the bottom of the vacuum. And that mm -hmm. way, when it shows an error code, you're gonna know exactly what the vacuum is telling you. And, um, and, and what to do. So the vacuum's pretty oh. smart. Um, some of the things, for example, um, it's gonna ask you um, to check whether the drive wheels, so the wheels, uh, if they have become dirty, and remove any threads or hairs that might be tangled on the wheels. Um, so it's really yeah. smart, and it knows exactly what, uh, what you need to do to make it operating at its, uh, at its peak. So that's all the literature that comes with it. You're also going to get in the top here, you're going to get these brushes. You're going to get two of them. And I'm going to show you how you attach them to the corner, the front two corners of the vacuum. And these are going to be great sweepers to sweep that dust mm -hmm. as the vacuum is going along, especially along baseboards and walls and into corners. It's really going to sweep that dust right into the suction path of the vacuum. So you're going to get those. You're also going to get a remote control. So this is uh, really great. Another way you can operate the robotic vacuum. And uh, So Dean, you get that with actually both models, the home you vision do. model? Yes. So both models have, and we'll see that there's two different ways on the base model that you can operate it. You can operate it simply by pressing buttons on the actual vacuum. You can use the remote control. And if you step up to our top of the line home vision model, you have the app as well. So three different options for home vision to operate the vacuum. Uh, you're going to get the power uh, adapter, which uh, comes in two little pieces. And then if we take the first layer off, that's where we actually get to the real product here. And this is the vacuum right here. So I'll take it out of the protective bag. And this is what it looks like. So I was mentioning that um, when you want to take it out, if you follow the quick start guide, what it's going to ask you to do is attach those corner sweepers. And each one has a left and a right uh, symbol. So I'm going to match that up with the left and right symbols on the vacuum. So left to left. And you just give it a bit, bit of a press down. You'll hear a snap. And then you know it's securely in place. And there it is. So I've got those on there. A um, couple other things just to show you about the features of this vacuum. So I'm going to just remove this plastic coating on the top. It's got a lid on the front. So it's just a tap, and it pops open. This is where you're going to find in here the dustbin. So if I just grab this like this, I'm going to be able to pull that dustbin out by the handle. and. show you a couple things here. So what you can also do is you can remove the lid very easily to be able to access the dustbin and 
empty the dust into the garbage. In terms of filtration, it's got a filter right there, Kelly. So you're able to, the really, really nice thing about this is the filter is really accessible. Yeah. Um, and Mila has really thought of all the little details. So they've thought about, you know, once you've been using your vacuum quite a bit, there, there will come the time where you're going to want to clean this filter. And so right, conveniently built right into the lid of the container, there is a little dusting brush. So I can use this to not get my hands dirty and just clean that filter. And the, fil the filter actually looks very robust. It is, yeah. Yeah, very robust. It, this is not uh, intended to be replaced, so it should last the life of the vacuum. Wow. Um, if you do need more, uh, we're always here to help, and, and we've got the replacement parts for you. So that is, uh, that's that piece. Now, just going back to the actual vacuum here, a couple other things I just wanted to note. So you can see just how, how uh, sturdy the, the wheels are. So they've got really good traction, so it's going to be able to really climb over... Uh, those uh, bars that separate your hard floors to your wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, for example, mm -hmm. it's going to be able to really move very well through higher pile carpet. And it's got really great suspension. So I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera, but this is going down you know, a good right. one to two inches there. The other thing that really makes Mila robot robotic vacuums stand apart in the, in the industry is that we have what we call... Um, it's right on the box here. It's called uh, just uh, Quattro Cleaning Power. And th the reason why we call it Quattro Cleaning Power is there's really four different elements within our robotic vacuum that are contributing to all the power that we have to be able to vacuum up the dust. So those four elements, we've got a, a motor uh, inside this that's a, a really good, high-quality, long-lasting motor. Uh, we've also got a... Uh, uh, rolling brush here and this brush has a combination of fiber as well as some rubber uh, strips here so the fiber is going to be really good for collecting dust out of the carpet right. and the rubber is going to be very good at making sure that, that dust is funneled right through and, and sucked up through the vacuum now so that's one area where a lot of dust is going to be collected yep. But this is Quattro power. And what that means is that Milo has actually put a second channel uh, right in here. Um, it's an aperture where any dust that happens to escape the roller brush is going to still be sucked through an aperture. So it's got actually two entry points for dust. So uh, really a great vacuum. And so I've shown this. I'm sure everyone wants to see it start to work. So let's... Uh, let's, let's give it a try. Yeah. Now, let's now do Dean it. and I were joking earlier. Those that are have, uh, whether actors or so forth, always say there are two things you don't want to do is act with children or pets, because yes. you just don't know. And we, we joked earlier that uh, now we have to add robots. So uh, that's right. let's see how this works. Yeah, we were joking. It's a little high stakes to be doing this uh, live, uh, but uh, we think we can, we can make it work well. So we're just going to move over here, and I'm just going to give you a bird's eye view of our uh, Scout RX2 here. And, uh, Right now, you're, this is basically how you would have it uh, at home. So right now, it's docked in a charging station. And the, there's a couple different ways that I can uh, control this. So I was mentioning that I can, with my fingers, I can select different buttons down here uh, to operate it. But even more conveniently, I would use the remote control. And so I'm just going to show you a couple of things. So there's four different cleaning modes that you're going to be able to select from on this vacuum. And hopefully at home you're able to see as I move between these different modes, there's different icons right on the face of the vacuum. The first mode is for a total clean. And so this is really going to, we call it auto clean. It's going to basically do a full thorough cleaning of your floor. The second mode here is spot cleaning. So this is going to do a very concentrated clean in a one by one meter uh, area of, of your floor. So if you have just a particular isolated um, area of mess and debris and dust that you'd like um, and crumbs perhaps uh, collected, maybe it's your kitchen floor, this would be a great mode for doing that. The next mode we have, this is a turbo clean. So the vacuum is going to go on to maximum power and it's going to do a very express clean. So it's not going to be quite as uh, uh, detailed and deep and thorough as the auto clean, but this is going to be for those times where you just want a, a quick cleanup and you want you know the room vacuumed within a, a few minutes. 
And lastly, this is a really great feature, uh, the ear icon mode is our silence mode. So if uh, people are sleeping or studying or concentrating and you don't want to disturb them uh, but still have the vacuum running, this is going to be the mode. So I thought uh, we should, I think we're ready to launch it, right Kelly? Yep, I think so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we were just talking about, and now you couldn't see it on the camera, but I was using the remote control uh, to change those modes that you were seeing on the vacuum. I'm going to talk about the third way to operate it, and that is with our app. So at and again, home, this one is with the Home Vision, right, Dean? That's right. Yeah. So this is with the with the higher end Home Vision model that you're going to have uh, the ability to operate it through this app. And so I'm going to start by showing you, and hopefully this will show up live onto um, the screen right now. Um, so I've just launched the app, and what I'm on right now is a screen which has my list of appliances. So I've already downloaded this app, I've already created the account, which Milo will walk you right through on the app, very easy to do. And I have created uh, my app and set it up. I've, I've linked the app to this particular vacuum based on the serial number on this vacuum. And I've given it a name, it's called The Beast. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select The Beast. And it's just going to take a little second, and here it comes up. So now we're on to this next screen. And this screen is going to allow me to do everything that I was just explaining with the remote control. So you can see I'm able to switch the different uh, modes of cleaning from auto to spot to turbo to silence. So I'm going to choose, um, let's do auto. Uh, that's, I want a, you know, a nice thorough clean of my floor today. And I'm not in a big rush, and, uh, and noise isn't really a, a big issue for me right now. Um, the other things that I can do on here is I can uh, manage a timer. So, for example, let's say I'm, I'm going to have the timer uh, automatically launch this vacuum. So, um, locally right now, uh, where I am, it's 3.18 uh, p.m. in Toronto this afternoon. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set uh, this timer for 3.19. So, just to launch in one minute. But that's a great feature to have, Dean, in the sense of you don't always have to remember, especially during the weekday, if you're rushing out to work or wherever you're going, when you can go out, um, that it'll automatically just start itself or you can program it to set itself. It, it is such a great convenience feature. So we're just waiting here and any moment we should see it start right up and there it goes right now. So it's about to launch off the dock. We can hear it uh, starting to warm up and it's off and on its way now. So. I was mentioning before how the wheels are very robust, so you're gonna see how it just climbed from hard floor uh, right over onto the carpet back to hard floor with no trouble at all. It's gonna come down when it uh, realizes that there's an impediment, it's going to adjust. And with this auto mode, it's very methodical. So it's really going to make sure that every square inch of the, the floor is covered. Uh, again, we're just seeing how well it can climb there. Now, Dean, is there a way for us to limit where uh, the beast in this case goes to? Absolutely, yeah. So the particular environment that we're in right now in the showroom, we have a, quite a large showroom and, um, and it's a very open concept. But in the typical home, um, what most people will probably want to do in terms of limiting its, uh, its roaming space is to keep it per maybe to a particular room and not allow it to leave the room. So I'm just going to pause the vacuum here just so it gets a little quieter for everyone uh, to be able to hear. But this is a magnetic strip, and it's approximately the width of a doorway. So what you would do is you, we would just put this down. So what I'll do is I'll put it actually just right in front of the vacuum right now. Okay, so let's pretend there's a door there where we don't want the vacuum to cross that line. I'm going to start the vacuum up again. And we can see now if I had that properly taped down, uh, we, we provide adhesive stickers to do that, it will stop. So that, um, that's, you, you, we could see how it just basically stopped in its tracks mm -hmm. there as soon as it sensed the magnetic strip. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the vacuum uh, go here, we'll bring it back. It's, gonna, it's got a mind of its own, so it, you know, it, it knows exactly where it wants to go to clean. But as it comes back, I am going to return it to my base. So if we show the app uh, one more time, I'll show how I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do is on the main page of the app, I'm going to press return to base. Okay. 
And so the, the vacuum now has shut off. And it is finding its way home to that base. And this is, uh, it, it has a way of communicating with that base and, and finding it no matter where in the room uh, the vacuum is. So it's very precise. It's uh, lining itself up perfectly to be able to dock. And once it's docked, it shuts off and is totally silent. Perfect. So the nice thing about this dock is when it does dock, and I was able to do this completely remotely, it is now charging. So as long as it's in its dock and you're not using the vacuum, it's always going to be fully charged when you want to use that, that battery. So Dean, since we're talking about docking station, maybe we can take one question from uh, a customer that uh, sent a question in, um, Martha there. Um, how do I decide where to put the charging station in my house? That's a really great question. Um, so what you want to do is you want to uh, place it along a wall. And so basically, mm -hmm. Uh, the charging station, you're going to need to have it along a wall where you have uh, access to an electrical outlet. And really the only requirement is that you put the, the base flush against the baseboard or the wall and that you have at least one and a half feet of free space on either side of the base along the wall and about a meter and a half out front of the base mm. needs to be clear. So you just need a little bit of space in front so that when the vacuum is trying to find its way home, it's not being confused um, by other, other obstacles items. obstacles yeah. in the way. But uh, there's, you know, it's, it's really easy. So that could be in a hallway, it could be in a bedroom, it could be in the living room, kitchen, um, lots of places, really just electrical outlet and a little bit of space. Great. So um, what I think we'll do now is uh, I want to show you a couple other really neat features yeah, about yeah, this. Yeah, that'd be great. So for those of you that perhaps live in a home that has uh, more than one floor, um, and uh, Yeah, I would be worried about it tumbling down the stairs. Yeah. And so that's one thing you don't actually have to worry about at all, Kelly, with the, with the robotic vacuum. So I'm going to remove this from our base, and I'm going to pick it up. And just for demonstration purposes, I know that at home you would never put it actually on a table, but this is a little bit of a trick just to demonstrate what would happen if it came up to uh, the top of some stairs. Do you want so, me to watch it? <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, it's, it, I have full confidence in our scout mm. here that it's not gonna fall off. Um, the other thing, so not only am I gonna show you how the infrared sensors built into this are gonna be able to sense when it comes to the edge of a step uh, and stop in time before it falls, I'm also gonna show you the quiet mode. So we'll do two, uh, two demonstrations at once. So back uh, on the app, I am going to select my silent mode, and I am going to start cleaning. And this sensor that will keep it from falling off is going to work no matter what mode I choose. Okay. Whether it's auto, turbo, spot, we don't have wow. to worry. You know, and it's going to recognize all the spots in all directions. So that's, uh, that's a little bit of an overview of the vacuum. Um, Maybe we, can, uh, maybe we can take some questions, Dean, uh, sure. while we actually let scouts uh, ensure that uh, that uh, mode works there. And it, it's perfect. It's not falling off at all. It's yeah, sensing it's, every edge. It's going to be a really clean table. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's take some questions when, while we have a minute here. Uh, so we have a question from uh, Murray. Uh, Murray asked the question is, how long does it take to charge the battery? Battery, I think with robotic vacuums, I think a big concern with people is in regards to the battery itself. Is it going to last? How long does it take to charge? Right. So we've got a, a great quality lithium ion battery. Uh, it takes about 180 minutes to charge. Uh, so we, we say about three hours. Um, you, should, uh, you should have it. Now, the nice thing about it, though, is that most people are actually going to find that they don't actually even have to worry about charging it right. because if, as long as you... Mm -hmm keep it in the base um, and you can even have it automatically using the remote control or the app go back to the base when you're right. done vacuuming, it's always going to be charged the next time you need to use it. Yeah, because reality is, because I think you were saying with the home vision it's 120 minutes yes. of battery life. Um, and reality is I'm not sure who's going to have their vacuum running for two hours that's right. Straight without going back and charging. So. Yeah, yeah, two hours would, would, would cover quite, quite a distance in the home. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, in regards to, if we continue on the topic of the battery, Dean, 
Um, we have another uh, question from uh, Nelson. Nelson asks the question is, how often do you, uh, will the battery itself actually last? Will mm -hmm. I have to replace the battery? So uh, we, we offer a one-year warranty on the product. Um, so you know, we stand by it. If you have any issues at all, um, uh, by all means, reach out to us. Um, we're definitely available. Um, but uh, you know, we really stand by it. It's a quality battery. Uh, all the components are, are really quality. And uh, whatever product Mila puts its name on uh, is really there to stand up um, and, and be a leader within the category in terms of quality. OK. Um, another question, this is a good one, because it's one that we, uh, I think, get a lot in regards to the uh, RX2 itself. Uh, so we have a question from Marilyn. Marilyn's asking the question is, can this replace all my vacuums in my house? That, that's a good question. And I think um, often people will want uh, to just have that one vacuum. And, and this is really the dream vacuum, uh, because it really doesn't require you to do any work. What I would say is that I would recommend this more as being a secondary vacuum in your home. Uh, the reason is that for, to do uh, stairs, for example, to do all of the above floor cleaning um, that we offer on our canister vacuums, for example, um, you're not going to have the ability to do that with a robotic vacuum. So I would think of this as more as a convenience uh, vacuum, um, but when it comes to actually doing your above floor cleaning, your stairs, that's when you're going to want to have a more conventional uh, vacuum like our corded canister vacuums. And, and I think you raise a good point about above floor cleaning because actually a lot of times all we talk about with floor care and, and vacuums is cleaning the floors. Um, I know uh, you're going to be back next week yes. uh, to talk really specifically about above floor cleaning. So that will actually be a really interesting session to, uh, to tune into and, and talk about that. Um, so let's maybe get to a couple more questions as time is uh, running out very quickly. Um, what is the difference between, again, if you want to run through, I know you did it earlier, but the key differences between the two models for sale uh, that we have on Mila.ca? Sure. So um, we have our base model, which is called the Scout RX2. Um, that robotic vacuum is uh, going to be able to do all of the functions that we were showing, except you're not going to be able to have Wi-Fi connection. So therefore, you're not going to be able to use the app to remotely control it from your smartphone. You're still going to get the remote control, though. So you're going to be able to still use that for convenience. Um, but that's the main difference. Uh, a couple other things. You're going to get, on the base model, you're going to get 60 minutes of nonstop vacuuming time uh, with the battery. And on the Scout RX2 Home Vision, you're going to get two hours of nonstop runtime. And the third thing that separates the two models is on the higher end Home Vision. That is the model where on your uh, app, you're going to be able to actually see through the camera uh, and be able to see your home through the vacuum. Which is a great feature as well. It is. You know, it offers you know, sec uh, security, peace of mind when you're not at home. And as I said, it's always a, a function that you can disable. Um, you don't have to have the Wi-Fi connected um, if that's not a feature that you want to use. Perfect. Um, so I'm going to take one last question uh, from Ray Luca. And Ray Luca's question uh, is, I have other Mila appliances and also have the Mila at home app. Uh, is the RX2 available on the at home app? It isn't. It's its own app. So if you uh, search in the app store, uh, Mila uh, Scout RX2, uh, you'll easily be able to find it. Uh, it is its own standalone app that you would want to download. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks, Dean. For, uh, that was actually really informative. Um, I'm going to uh, let you talk a little bit about, so um, first of all, as uh, we said earlier, be sure to register with us uh, while watching this session because um, we have a very special promotional code um, that we actually will share with you via email for those of you that have registered, but um, it's a special promotion for those of you that are watching. Um, so Dean, maybe you would just want to talk about the offer and what uh, they would get in their email uh, when we actually send the code to them. Sure. So I've got the promo code here right now. So th this is the promo code you're going to want to uh, enter uh, when you're checking out on Milo.ca for one of um, our base models. So this is going to be good for the Scout RX2. And it's going to offer you $200 off. And the promo code is Mila Live Scout. So this is going to be in effect until 4.30 PM Eastern uh, today. 
and uh, it's you know just a, a great discount. We really appreciate you joining us online today. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, this is not a product that we typically promote very often. We do from time to time. Uh, so this is a great chance to be able to get a, a discount uh, yeah. just for you. So again, a uh, really special offer valid till 4.30 Eastern Standard Time. Thanks, Dean, for a great session. Um, I'm really excited actually about next week where we're going to talk about above floor cleaning because, again, I think it's something that a lot of people don't think about. Yes. But I think also the perfect time, again, as all of you are... Uh, continuing to stay home. Many of you we know are starting the spring cleaning process. Um, so to learn a little bit more about how to get the most out of your floor care product or your vacuum cleaner and, and some of the attachments that we offer, I think that'll be great. So Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So uh, thank you very much for joining us. We just want to share a bit more information. Uh, some of you have had questions about how and what services uh, are we providing to you uh, during these times. So um, to summarize a little bit, if you're interested in purchasing one of our products, there are multiple ways to do that right now. Of course, many of the re our retail partners are closed as well as actually our own Mila Experience Centers are closed. Um, but you can check on Mila.ca to see if any of our retail partners continue to remain open uh, during this time. Um, but aside from that, Mila.ca, our web shop, is open 24-7. Um, Go online, you can buy there. Um, any of our uh, consumable products, care collection products, maintenance products, as well as our vacuum cleaners, uh, freestanding coffee machines actually have free shipping promotion right now. Uh, so we do wanna make it as easy for you as possible to uh, purchase while you're remaining safe at home. The second way uh, to purchase is uh, to take advantage of our new personal telephone product consultation. You can speak to one of our sales consultants via that channel. Uh, you can book an appointment on Mila.ca and we can actually take the order over the telephone for you at that time. So those are different ways you can actually purchase as well. Um, if you are purchasing an appliance from us and require obviously delivery and installation, uh, it is our own delivery and installation services uh, that are operating across Canada right now still. But of course, to ensure the safety of you, our consumers, as well as our own team, we do have modified processes during this time. Be sure to visit Mila.ca to see the details of those modified uh, delivery and installation guidelines. For those of you that actually have requested technical service or customer support, uh, you have our products. Our contact center, our Canadian contact center, is uh, fully operational and accessible to you. Visit Mila.ca for the contact information there. Best way is actually to, to complete the contact us form and a customer service representative will get back to you uh, as soon as possible. If you do require uh, in-home technical service, uh, our Mila certified, uh, factory certified technicians are operating again nationally to support you, to ensure your appliances are working properly, especially as you are at home. Um, again, with modified guidelines, be sure to visit Mila.ca for uh, those details. Um, we're really excited about Mila Live uh, and the sessions that are upcoming. We're constantly developing new sessions based on your feedback, so we really would love to hear back from you, things that you'd love to see in the future. Uh, again, Dean will be back next week. We have some live cooking next week. Um, and we'll, we'll continue to talk about the innovation that Mila has to offer. So very lastly, before we sign off, on behalf of Dean, myself, the entire Mila team, uh, we want to send a very, very big thank you out to the essential and frontline workers that are out there providing services that our community still needs during these very challenging times. Um, whether it's ensuring our grocery stores are open, medical services are provided, transportation services are provided, um, and the list doesn't stop there, but uh, truly on behalf of the Mila family, we want to thank you so, so much. We want to wish everybody a very, very safe uh, weekend, and we hope to see you again uh, at the next session of Mila Live, which is actually at 5 p.m. today, where we're going to be talking about a really unique product called the Mila Fashion Master. So tune in for that, and thank you, and have a great afternoon.